BrandlingSource.com here, and uh, we're looking at uh, Daniel Jean Richard watch today, DJR. And uh, DJR has made some significant steps to um, upgrading their brand recently and um, building a lot of in-house movements with some crazy complications in them, a lot of retrogrades and stuff like that, retrograde seconds, retrograde minutes, and um, all sorts of in-house stuff. And um, but they still have their 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 line that uses um or sorry not their line but their watches that use the uh, modified ETA movements in them and this is one of them here. Um, this one is a uh, TV screen model, extra large, and uh, this one has the um, ETA 2892 with Dupont de Praz module in it for the chronograph, and of course that's indicative of the because the uh, pushers is not in line with the crown there. See, so you can see the crown has dropped a little bit lower, which is a giveaway that it uses the DD module. And this one has the uh, cream face. And if you can look really closely, you can see that there's sort of a milled out chrome edging on the, on the sub dials there, which is kind of a nice touch. Totally Swiss made. And the back is nice big shiny thing screwed in or well screwed in with screws and uh, this this is an extra large model like well they call it an extra large model but it's only uh, 38 by 40 however having said that it's only 38 by 40 because of its shape it actually actually looks a lot bigger than it sounds. Um, most 38 millimeter watches do not look this big on my wrist, um, but because it's a sort of a pillow shape or a TV screen shape or whatever you want to call it, it uh, sits really good. It actually probably wears more like a 41 or yeah, well 41 millimeter, maybe even 42 millimeter watch. I feel at least because of the pillow shape, even though it's only 38. So it's it's a really good size. Watch the chrono go here. Nice hand on this one. Like the black, sharp black edging on it. No no loom anywhere on the dial, only on the hands. That's fine. You set. Perfect to zero. Nice job with these watches. Um, DJR is actually fairly expensive, but uh, not like uh, not one of the more popular brands. It seems like they don't hold their resale value too well, but um, they still make a very nice watch. Uh, genuine croc, brown, honey brown almost. Signed buckles. In general, pretty nice watch. Um, does it stand out and? speak to you maybe maybe not but uh, I guess that in the end is the reason for determining whether or not you want to buy a watch so just another option out there these are all over eBay too it seems like a lot of DJR stuff on eBay and uh, so a lot of opportunities there to get these at a reasonable price if you if you like it so hopefully you find this review of some value and do remember that there are two sizes of the uh, TV screen, the XL which is this one and the smaller size uh, which is I'm not quite sure how big 35 or, no sorry 33 or 32 or something like that so do keep in mind that uh, that they they are quite quite different in size. Alright hope you enjoy the review.